What up players, Warboss Tay up in this mode. Today we're gonna do a basing tutorial on how I base my base my armies and I'm gonna go with the kind of Ogre Kingdom style when I'm coloring it. So um, this will give you some kind of idea on how I do that. So first I've got a tub right here of Woodland Scenics Ballast, I think it's called B-A-L-L-A-S-T. But um, you know if you have other fine grain sand uh, for modeling modeling purposes or um, I would say you know I don't don't shell out the money to get the TW stuff because it's kind of expensive if you're only getting the sand um, before I have worked with dirt like s dirt and gritty like fine sand like right outside my house but I wouldn't recommend that just because it's you know you don't know what's been in that stuff um, if anything if you have a cat or you own a cat cat litter also works as well <coughs> But um, ballast works. If you can find the reason I have so much of this stuff is because I bought two giant packs of it. They're only like four bucks, I think, at the time. So you can get them for really cheap if you know where to look. And um, I use them on all my models, so they're really great. You also need some all-purpose glue or um, gosh, what's it called? PV, PVC glue. I, I don't know what they call it in Europe, but here, like Elmer's glue any kind of white glue works. Okay, so I actually also have a Woodland Scenics um, glue thing here, so I'm gonna use that to apply. And these models are just built. They have not been painted or primered or anything. So um, there's like no paint, no undercoat, no spray. They've just been built and glued onto their base. really quick and then we're just gonna dip it into the sand or the ballast whatever you have and shake it off tap off the excess and you should have something like that and either use your fingers or um, or Probably don't use a brush, you don't want to get any glue on your brush, but some small fine tool to clean up any clumps or anything like that. So I've got my um, modeling tool here, which has also seen a lot of a lot of use over the years. I'm just gonna move them around so they don't clump up in any one area. There. Next step is to let all this dry and then I'm not going to show you, but what you do next is you spray prime and undercoat your models. So I use the Duplicolor Gray Spray, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray all of these guys with my primer, and then what that's going to do is it's going to seal the sand to the base even more. So using the primer again is really going to be helpful when you're um, when you put your basing material first, which I highly recommend. As you can see, I use my primer to um, prime the model, base coat the model, and also lock in the gravel, or the ballast as it were, to the bottom of the base. So at this point, you want to paint your model, which is what I'm going to do, and then when I'm done painting the model, I will show you what colors I used to um, to paint the base the way that I do for most of my models. <clears throat> okay, so now that our sword master is all painted up, we can get started on the base. You're going to use four colors to get the look that I have, and those are Caridon Granite, Calthan Brown, Camry Brown, and Deneb Stone. Or their equivalents for if you're watching this video after April 2012. So the first thing with the Caridon Granite, we're going to start with the darkest color Caridon Granite and work our way up, is you just want to get a, a base coat over all of it. So what I do is I, I really water down my Caridon Granite and then I just paint it um, so that it kind of fills in the cracks and the crevices 
and kind of seals seals all that basing material into place. Um, depending on what you want to do for after you paint it up, like I like to add grass and flock, you might not, so um, it's, it's totally up to you. I'll show you how I add my grass and flock. We're going to let this completely dry and then we're going to do uh, a second layer just like the first and um, I'll come back and we'll continue after the second layer has dried. So now that that's dry we're going to dry brush some Calvin Brown. And the reason we want it to be dry is so that the Calvin Brown really doesn't get um, get melted or folded or blurred into the, the recesses. We want it to kind of stick on the top as much as possible. Because on top of the Calvin Brown is what we're going to be building the rest of the colors. So because this is a dry brush, we only have to let this sit for a minute before it's going to be pretty dry. <clears throat> so next we're going to go on to the Kemri Brown. If you're doing it like I am, like you're just whipping through your models to get the bases done, then you really, really want to make sure that you dry off your brush between each application. If the bristles are wet, then it's going to be having the same effect as if you're not waiting for the paint to dry. we're going to do is the Deneb stone and this we are really really going to just be brushing <coughs> brushing lightly on the top sorry for anybody who listens to this with earphones I got a comment on a recent video about how I coughed like pretty loudly and um, I apologize for that I blame Papa Nurgle see what it looks like and so this last one is not not a heavy dry brush at all we're just lightly going over the tops take our Camry Brown now and we're going to paint the rim. One side, uh, 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 two sides, uh, 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 three sides, uh, 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 four sides, uh, uh, uh. Thank you, Vlad. You're welcome. Hey, have you seen Isabella? Uh, no. She said she would meet me for romantic black coach carriage ride through the countryside today. Sorry, I haven't seen her. Well, okay. <clears throat> so as it dries, we're going to pick out what we want to use as coverage. So I'm going to be using this step grass from <coughs> the Battlefields range from Army Painter. And... You can either, either use this or some of the awesome Army Painter, um, where is it, here we go, their Battlefields 
tufts like this Highland tuft from Army Painter where you just grab them and grab the little tufts off and, and put them on. And these work really, really great. I just don't have anything that I think is going to be suitable for uh, the high elves because I see them being on, you know, brighter surfaces. Actually, let me see. This swamp tuft might work. Nah, I save that for another army, possibly the Lizardmen or something. So, you're going to take your all-purpose glue again, and you're going to just put little dabs of glue in various areas. My, looks like my top is all stopped up, so I'm gonna use the backside with um, an old brush that I keep around for just such an occasion. <coughs> Sometimes it's good to keep old brushes around and, you know, for doing work like this. Why retire your brushes when they are not good enough to paint with anymore? No, you don't have to. Just make sure that if you're doing this, that you don't paint afterwards out of the same, uh, definitely brush, but also out of the same um, cup of water. Make sure you clean your water. And I'm going to be using these tweezers and I'm just going to be holding the model over the tub. You can do this with any static grass. I find that the battlefield's range works really well because it's smaller. The uh, tufts are shorter than the other um, status, static grass combinations. So it works more for me, I feel like. And then you're just going to tap it back tap the excess back into the tub. Make sure you close it because you don't want to blow over um, <clears throat> over an open tub and then you just <sighs> blow the static grass. <sighs> and then it gets it to stand up like that. And that is how I base my ogres and how I'm planning to base my high elves as well. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.